What's up guys, this is Rob of Black Hill Woodwork, and in today's video, we're going to be turning this. So looking at this, I do believe this is a cherry piece, end grain, very old, cracked, it's been in my garage for a long time, just like 95% of the things I turn, it just sits there, so... Now, I think it's time to turn it. Let's go to the bandsaw, make it a little bit more circular, and then we could put it on the lathe and start turning. All right, so here it is. Didn't change too much. I put some CA glue on the center point right here because it is pretty punky. So let's attach this on the lathe and start turning. I think we're gonna be doing an end grain bowl. Pretty curious to see what it looks like. As you guys can see, there's some bug holes, some cracks. This bark that might be on here when we're done, might not. Very curious project, so let's see what happens. Got my bowl gouge sharpened. We're gonna start at 400 RPMs and work our way up. Wow, look at that tear out. That is just crazy. This wood is rock hard. Very difficult to turn right now at this low speed. Just gonna readjust this and keep going. Wow, this wood is crazy hard. I'm gonna have to go sharpen up in a few minutes. I'm just gonna keep on working this, this angle right here, this curve, and try to get it to the top, make it look more like a bowl. <laughs> Okay, definitely an odd shape. I'm gonna cut off, or I'm gonna make this flat right here, make this more of a curve, and then we'll see what we're working with. Okay, I think this is the overall shape. Very interesting. I think it will actually look pretty cool. Make this a dovetail tenon, and then we'll flip it around and hollow it out. All right, let's hollow this thing out. I'm gonna use some tail support until I can't any longer. We're gonna be starting off at 1,000 RPMs. There she goes.
All right, guys, and that's it. We're gonna sand from 80 to 400 grit. I mean, hopefully you guys could see how punky it is down there. So we'll be using Phil Anderson's method with some sanding sealer and some shellac. Seems to work pretty well when it comes to punky wood. So yeah, 80 to 400 grit. Then we'll be putting some sanding sealer on. All right, so we just finished sanding from 80 to 400 grit. Actually 60 to 400 grit, because this thing was rock hard and there were some lines I had to sand out and 80 was not cutting it. So I actually started at 60. Yeah, there's a lot of cracks. You might be wondering, am I gonna fill them in or not? The answer is no. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them. If I don't like it the way it is, then I'll fill them. But right now, I'm gonna keep them. All right, so now we can put our first coat of sanding sealer. This gives us a pretty good idea of what the finished product is gonna look like. Okay, first coat is on. Now we're just gonna wipe off the extra bits with a towel and wait about 10 or 15 minutes for it to dry. When it's dry, we'll be buffing it with this uh, abrasive pad, put on another coat, use the abrasive pad again, and then after the third coat, we're gonna be using this white abrasive pad. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, all dry. It's not very smooth, that's why we're using this pad. All right, time for the second coat. All right, after this, one more coat. Use this pad. Then we're gonna repeat the exact same process with some shellac. Probably not gonna end up recording that because it's literally the exact same thing I just did, just using shellac. But if you guys stay the whole video, thank you. I appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for future videos, all that stuff. Thanks again. See you guys in the next one. Peace.